Zeus, Heracles, Hippolyta, give me strength. For the honor of Grayskull, I am She-Ra! Compared to an Amazon like me, you're just playing dress up. <laughs> You are strong, Amazon, but no match for a princess of power. Get over yourself! See what I mean? That's what power really looks like. Yeah. Oh, talk about taking a little off the top. Both Shira and Wonder Woman had clear advantages over the other in this fight, some to great extremes. Yeah, it was pretty obvious that Dora was a lot stronger than Wendy. Shira moved the moon all by herself while Diana needed a little help. But strength alone obviously isn't everything. Pulling the Earth at all still means her strength was comparable to Shira's. So let's check their experience, arsenals, and speed to see if Diana could reliably counter that power difference. And uh, spoilers, she definitely could. First of all, Shira's transforming blade implied a broader versatility than Wonder Woman. However, unlike Diana's toolkit, very few of these forms were applicable to combat. And I mean, having a shield is handy, but not when it takes away the sword you need to counterattack your foe after blocking. What kind of strategy is that? Certainly not one Wonder Woman and her three millennia of experience would follow. Shira may have also been fighting all her life, but she's much, much younger. Plus, Shira didn't have an answer to that atom slicing sword. Adam, not not that Adam. With that in Wonder Woman's hands, the strength difference didn't really mean as much. Still, in order to take advantage of all this, Wonder Woman needed to be faster than She-Ra. Let's look at Swiftwind and Crystal Sundancer. Logically, She-Ra rides these mounts to travel at faster speeds than she is capable of herself. We know Swifty can zoom around over 450 times the speed of light, but the other little pony is way quicker. Both He-Man and She-Ra were dependent on Crystal Sundancer for their trip to another galaxy. Giving their time frame a generous benefit of the doubt with just one hour, this magic horse must have been traveling about 22 billion times light speed. Definitely impressive, but then there's the Shattered God feat. Right, the pieces of the Shattered God that Wonder Woman blocked all originated from far corners of the universe. Not the galaxy, the universe. Now, the exact size of the DC Universe is a hotly debated topic. I know, very interesting stuff. Oh, just skip to the good part, nerd. Fine, fine. There's plenty of evidence that it is larger than our own known universe. And there is more than 100 trillion light years between the Earth and the foreseeable edge. To close this gap in such a short time, each shard must have been moving over 50 quintillion times the speed of light. And again, Diana blocked all of them, one after the other rapid fire. Remember, Shira must be slower than Crystal Sundancer, potentially only comparable at a reactionary level, if at all. 
therefore, at absolute minimum, Wonder Woman was more than 9 billion times faster. A much bigger difference than the strength comparison, and more than quick enough to stick that magic sword right where it really hurts. She-Ra's amazing strength and versatility may have kept the Amazon running, but Diana's skill, arsenal, and incredible speed tipped the scales enough for a victory. It's no wonder she ran out of time. The winner is Wonder Woman. Ooh.